Hello, gorgeous soul. Wow, May is very intense. It starts off with that lunar eclipse in Scorpio, which is so full on and brings us to a peak of all this eclipse season where we're dealing with the past, letting go of our shadows, moving on and finding our power. On top of that, we have Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, the planet of expansion going into Taurus. So we're looking at what makes us safe where we can build and where we're going. It's a brand new world. Here's your monthly astrology. Taurus, oh my goodness, you have the best news of all the signs this month. Yeah, baby. It's great as we have Jupiter the planet of good fortune going into your sign. Ah, the world is your lobster. As you open up to all sorts of new possibilities, it's about expansion. It's about growth. It's about evolving. It's about experiencing new things. And of course, good fortune is heading your way. Now, if we choose to ignore this energy, um, it can expand things we don't want it to expand. Um, weight gain it can be you know it's anything that we're doing that isn't necessarily good can expand if we don't kind of open ourselves up to adventure and open ourselves up to new experiences that is the best bit of advice i can give you if you open yourself up to new experiences and don't forget uranus the planet of the unpredictable is also in your sign so experiences could come to you out of the blue. Grab them, take them, run with them. And you could, wow, experience some brilliant news. So you're just a little bit luckier than usual. And a great day to do manifesting is on the 16th of May. No, sorry, the 16th of May is when Jupiter goes into your sign. When is that new moon? Hold on a minute, hold on. The 19th of May, the new moon um, is happening for you. And... You've got, you're backed up by Jupiter. So that is one of the most powerful ever in your life times to do some manifesting. So what do you want to manifest? If you think about your future and you were really happy and content, what would be around you? Now, sometimes people think, oh yeah, I'm going to manifest money. But then you've got to ask yourself this, what would the money buy me? What is it ultimately that I want? And just miss that steps. Ask the universe for what you want. Don't necessarily you know, put the money first. All of that will take care of itself. So what are your dreams of a year's time, two years time, five years time? How do you want to see your world? Now, when you put in your order to the universe, make sure you add this caveat, which I learned over the years and which is really, really works well. So you say to the universe, this, you know, fit in whatever your dreams are or better, you know, because sometimes the universe can deliver us things which are beyond our wildest imagining so add that but definitely take some time out and do something on the 19th on that new moon to visualize yourself in the future and draw that reality to you and then get excited about the possibilities that are coming not just in may but on and off for the rest of the year so that is truly fabulous news and really really work with it and you'll feel much clearer about what you want as well you might have been feeling like you could sense something that, that you needed change, but you didn't know what it was. Your, your mind is much clearer. Now, on the 5th of May, Venus, the planet of love, is sextile Jupiter, which is really good for you. That you're finding a way to feel secure, but while also kind of merging and trusting your, your path in life. There's something occurring which is actually showing you that you are safer than you think. Okay, this full moon also on the 5th may be a little bit testing because it is a lunar eclipse and there will be, no doubt, a great revelation coming on that full moon which is revealing something about your intimate relationships, your one-to-one -one relationships and, you know, your partnerships, be that a lover, be that a, somebody, well, whatever kind of partnership you're in, but it's the one-to-one -one ones and you will have a massive revelation about those and this information will really serve you in your future. So sit with it, look at it, take it in, concentrate. Now, Venus is changing signs on the 7th. 
and it's making you feel that you want to communicate more, particularly with those people that you love. And you also want to communicate about the things that you love. You're really good at putting your ideas forward and what you're passionate about, you can speak about. On the 9th of May, the Sun and Uranus are joining forces. There should be some surprises on that day, but they're likely to be good surprises. You're feeling confident, your batteries are charged, and you're ready for anything. With Venus trine Saturn on the 13th, you may be committing to something, committing to collaborating with a new bunch of people, uh, committing to putting yourself out there in the world, maybe starting up a new project that you're pushing out on social media or your website or your whatever app. And you're opening and you're really, again, excited about life this month. Mercury goes direct, thank goodness, on the 15th of May in your sign. So, yeah, everything really picks up from the 16th of May. That's when it all starts. And there should be a little frisson of excitement going on for you. You're focusing on your home on the 20th of May when Mars goes into Leo. You might want to redecorate, declutter or do something to make that space new in some way. But you've got the energy to do it. The sun enters Gemini and leaves your sign on the 21st. And that's when you can really start to dig in and lay some very, very strong foundations. There's a lot of excitement this month and possibility. And I wish you the most magnificent time. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. So why do we at Michelle Knight give you a five-minute, no-questions-asked guarantee? Well, our psychics are some of the very best in the world. They are hand-picked. They have five rigorous test readings, the final one with me, and I require very detailed information, things they couldn't possibly know just by looking at Google or social media. We want you to be totally blown away by your reading, to feel that you've chosen a psychic who you can bond with, who gets you and gives you such specific information, you feel completely reassured. If this doesn't happen within the first five minutes, don't be shy, just put down the phone and your minutes will be topped up or refunded. Your reading should be uplifting, full of clarity and advice, and leave you empowered to make the right decisions for you. We want Michelle Knight to be your spiritual home.